Hi and welcome. In this video we're going to learn how to use the export panel in Bridge to export all supported file types as image files. Now Bridge currently supports JPEG file format for the converted images. Now if the export panel is not visible in the interface then you can go up to the window menu and you can tick export panel and that will bring it back for you. Now in the export panel there are two things you can do. You can do a custom export or you can create a new export preset to begin your export process. Okay, let's select some images uh, to export. So let's say I want out of these, I want to export that one, which I can do. And I'm going to hold the control key down, select that one, maybe select that one. And then at the bottom here, I've got a PDF file. Um, and I might want the front of that as a JPEG for using with me YouTube videos or on my website. And I can do that because the export panel will convert PDFs into JPEGs. So I'm going to click on that because I want a, a front panel. And then all I've got to do then is click on any of the images I've selected and drag it over to the custom export option and then let go. And that will open up my custom export dialog box for me. Now this is split into four sections. I'll just close these down so we can look at them. And, and these are the saving options, the image format, the image size and the metadata. And these four things we need to just like programming to determine what the export is going to be. OK, first let's delve into saving options. So I'm just going to open that up. So the first decision we need to make is, well, where do we want these exports to go? We need to define a specific folder so we know where they are. And we've got some options. We can export to a specific folder or we can export to the original file location. I choose to keep these separate, but you don't have to. And I'll send it to a specific folder. We can then browse. And as you can see, I've got mine set up. I'll just show you here to this PC desktop and exports. So I've got a folder on my desktop called exports and that's where the all the exports are going to go. Uh, now, if you want to, you can actually create another subfolder and save your exports into that. So if you wanted them to be in a specific folder in exports, then you could create a subfolder for it. And then we need to manage any conflicts. Now, managing conflicts basically means if if I've already uploaded a file that's got the same name, what does it do? Uh, and now we've got a couple of options. We can overwrite the file, which I don't want to do. Skip the file. No. So my safety net really is to create a unique file name. So basically it will put a number one at the end so it won't overwrite it and it will create a separate file for you. And I quite like that. Right, next, I'll just shut that down. We've got image format. Um, and so the only format that's supported at the moment is JPEG, so you can't do anything in there. And then what image quality do you want? Well, I'll stick this right up. Whatever you've got on this slider is what you've got. I've got high quality at 8. If I want, I can take it down to a, a lower quality or I can put it right up to a 12, which is a maximum. OK, next we've got image size. So I'll open that up and now we can we can scale it. Say I'll, I'll we can have it at 100 percent or 50 percent or whatever of the original. Or we can constrain it to fit the longest edge uh, in pixels. So if the, these were served for, say, Facebook, I would say, well, probably a maximum of 800 pixels is the maximum size that I want for these images to go onto Facebook. And then we've got a resample method, which is if we're upsizing or downsizing, um, there are some of these methods that are better. So by cubic, it's best for smoother gradients. And by cubic sharpener, it's best for if we're reducing the size of images, which in this case we're going to be doing. And then finally, we've got metadata. What do you want to include and what do you want to exclude? And if you've got a metadata template already provided, already built, then you can apply that. 
So we'll include all the original metadata. If you want to, you can remove all your location info. If you don't want people to know where you are, it'll basically just blank out the uh, GPS coordinates. And we'll have apply a metadata template. Well, I've already created one and I'll show you in another video how to create one. Then we've got the, the name and the method. And we can append metadata or replace metadata. Um, well, I'm going to uh, replace the metadata that's already in the image, if there is anything. And then you've got a last chance. You can put some keywords in if you want to. Uh, so if there's something you forgot, you can add it here. Or if it's a specific export and you want a keyword to define that export, then you could put it in there. And then what we do, we click Start Export. And what this is doing now, you can see here in the custom export, it's now exported four files and they're all done. And it gives you the date and tells you what time. And it tells you where they're going. Here they're going to Users, Admin, Desktop and Exports. OK, so let's have a quick look at that. We'll just minimise Bridge. And on here there should be a folder called Exports and there is, it's here. If I double click that you'll see that I've got some exports from um, before when I was playing around uh, but these last four are the ones that I've just exported so I've got four images now all exported at the right dimensions so if I hover over you'll see that one is 800 by 600 pixels and this one is 800 because it's a portrait it's 800 tall and it's 565 wide and that one's the same that's an 800 by 600 and that one will be an 800 by 533. So basically that's the export that we've already done in Bridge. So if I bring that back, that's it, and it keeps a list here for you. And I'm just going to click close for the time being. So that's how to just do a quick custom export. Now what happens? if you do a particular export over and over and over again regularly. But you don't want to be creating them from scratch. So you can actually create custom presets with all your export settings that you use a lot and save them for ease of accessibility in the future. Now there are three ways to create a new preset. We can click on create a new preset here or we can go down to the bottom of the export panel and we can click on new preset or we can right click anywhere in the export panel and we've got create new preset. So let's do that thing. Uh, first thing, the preset name. So let's say this is a preset for Facebook. OK, and then saving options. I don't want it to be in the original file location. Let's put it to me exports, which is where I want it to go. Let's save it into a subfolder. And we'll create a subfolder called Facebook. Manage conflicts, create unique file name. I'll leave that as it is. Image format, yep, I'll leave to eight. Image size, I want to constrain to, let's say, 800 pixels. Um, I'll have bare cubic sharpener. My metadata, what I'll, in I'll include my original metadata. I'll apply my new um, 2020 template and we'll replace any any metadata that happens to be in the uh, in the files. And then I can give it a keyword if I want, let's say Facebook. Whoops, that's not good. OK. And then I can save that out. Now what's happened is nothing's been exported yet. All I've got in now is a Facebook um, export. Now nothing's been exported yet, but what I've created is a new Facebook export. And now I can run that by picking the images that I want again. Well, let's stick with the ones I've got there. And I'll just drag them and drop them and drop them over the Facebook export preset. And then I've got one job with four files. Uh, again, nothing's happened yet until I click Start Export. And once I click Start Export, 
you can see that I've got a Facebook profile here that's telling me that these four images are now in users, admin, desktop, exports and Facebook. OK, so let's have a quick look at that. Make sure it's happened. So ah, here we are in our exports folder. We've now got a Facebook folder and that folder has got these four images in uh, the, the dimensions and properties that are specified in the pro in, in the export profile. OK, let's go back to bridge and we can see that we can close this for the time being because we don't need it. This is just your list of all the exports that you've done and we can click close. And then this export profile, it stays there now as long as you want. If you want to delete it, then you can right click and delete. And if you want to rename it, you can right click and rename it. But it's there for quick. So basically all you do, click, drag, drop and start it off. Now, what about editing your export presets? Well, if I click just to make sure that my Facebook uh, preset is active, what I can do is if I right click, I can duplicate. Now for this, what I can do is if I want a, a preset based on my Facebook one, but just not quite the same, then um, I can do that. And if I edit the preset, then what I can do is if I've got something that I think, well, I could do is just changing something within that preset, then I can edit the preset, I can change it and then resave it again. Now, if you want to see what you've been up to, what you can do is get a, a view of all the export jobs and you can do that by clicking view progress and this brings up your export progress and here you can see all everything you've been up to if you want to stop a preset if it's a particularly long one and you realize you've made a mistake then if you click the x here it will cancel that job it will just stop it in the middle of its export and you can rejig it and start it off again now, if you want to remove them all, you just click clear. And that will say, do you want to remove all the jobs from this list? And you say yes. And we're back to a clean job sheet again. Now, once an export job's completed, like clicking on the cancel icon or doing this, it only removes the job information from the list and it doesn't do anything. It doesn't delete any of the export processes. Right, if I click close, we're back to the start again. Now, there are a couple of export preferences that you can change in preferences. And so first I'm going to navigate to edit and preferences, or if you're on a Mac, it'll be uh, Adobe Bridge and preferences. And then I want to be in the export section. And these are the two options. We can decide on what the maximum number of export jobs we want to keep in the job list is and the maximum number of export jobs that can be in progress at any one time. Well, that's it for our look at the export panel in Adobe Bridge. How to get the files out of Bridge in the format that you need. An important function made easy as drag and drop. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.